But architects and engineers don't want to tell their client they don't know how to do something. And it's, I think it's our nature uh, as designers. But, you know, it is a situation where, again, there's a lot of those nuances, those little fine things that can make it or break it. And, again, this is not a time. It's not a part of the building that, you know, you can accept being halfway. I mean, it's got to be 100%. Because, again, you've told those people that don't know any different that this is the place you go to be safe. And they're depending on that. And if you've only done your job halfway, now what? You know, those people don't have the choice of going, let's see, this shelter was only done halfway, I'm going to go to the one that's been done correctly. They don't have that choice. I mean, they've got five minutes or so to deal with, and that's what they have to do. So, um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's something that you just got to have done right. It's been, you know, it's been, and like I say, that ha that first one was 1990, you know, and where I'm at today. Um, I mean, what uh, were some of the things that you didn't consider that you didn't really know back then? You know, it, <clears throat> at that time, that was actually an underground shelter. You know, we didn't have any ideas about the wind forces. Um, you know, that's why we went underground. You know, was that was the top on it held down correctly? Well, probably not. Uh, but again, we just did. We were flying by the seat of our pants at that point. So, you know, we've learned a lot about, you know, how to construct these things. What is economical? What is not so economical? I mean, there's, there's, you know, and some of that stuff is just real minor. Um, that this system works really well, and if you go to this system, you're going to spend a lot more money doing it because it's just a little more difficult to do. And we've, we've been through that. Um, you know, to see, you know, let's, and, and every one of them is not just an experiment, but it is a test to see, you know, okay, which one works better. And now we're getting to where we've kind of settled in that, you know, this system is a good system, this system is a good system. You start breaking away from that, though, and you got to start being careful. And we're seeing a lot of that go on right now with manufacturers coming in and saying, I've got this product that we've had tested for this situation and we think you can use it, you know. And we step back and now we ask the questions. We start running through our mind, what have we learned about this and how would this respond, this product respond to that. And now we can make better decisions about, you know, is this a sales pitch or is this the real deal? And so we can, you know, by hearing, by our experience, we know better about what are all the problems? And actually, we have a lot of people coming, manufacturers coming to us and saying, this is what we're thinking about. What do you think? And, you know, we've told people sometimes that, yeah, it's worth looking at. Other times, it just ain't going to work. So, um, and we're proud of that piece of it, too, that we've got enough experience that people are actually coming to us and looking for our advice. So, um but it is, you know, and it's a lot of things that people don't think about. We had a manufacturer in uh, a couple months ago, you know, and boy, they had gone through the, all the, what they thought, they'd covered everything, and then we brought up one thing, and it was, oh, we didn't think about that, you know, and it made a, for them, made a world of difference, but it was that one thing that they hadn't thought about. So, um, you know, we feel like we are making a difference.